Hey guys, welcome back to Tuesday Studio. <laughs> Should we call it that? Nah, I don't like that either. Anyhow, it's Tuesday. Um, I've been off work now for almost a week. They finally closed the salons here. So I've been playing around a little bit in the studio. Um, you may have seen some of my stuff on some of the pages uh, that I worked on. So I'm just trying some new things and doing some old things. And uh, let me show you first um, last week's pour. So there is the Lazy Susan. It looks uh, kind of muted, but once I get resin on it, it'll brighten it back up again. Pretty happy with the way that one came out. That's the shoreline. I like how it kind of, I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of uh, bled into that. So it kind of created a cool line there. Yeah. So happy with that one. It'll get resin, a coat of resin, probably two coats of resin. And uh, hopefully somebody will want to take it home and have it sitting on their kitchen counter. All right, so today I'm going to be, this is this a 10 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. Uh, I've got my push pins in the bottom. Can you see that? Push pins, I found some jumbo push pins finally. Now I gotta line this back up again. Okay. All right, so 10 by 20 gallery wrap. I sprayed it with water to make it nice and taut. Um, this is gonna be a little bit of an experiment. I've done some of this before, but I am doing a new, trying something new that I'm gonna call a gravity pour. So I'm not gonna be stretching a whole lot. I might stretch a little bit, but I'm gonna let gravity do the work for me. So um, let's get started. I have here my uh, Artist Loft white base coat. Have it pretty thin. Um, put some, uh, This ha what does this have in it? This has glue all and Floetrol. And then I also added a little bit of gloss medium varnish uh, just to give it some extra help um, not splitting or cracking and uh, some water to thin it down so I wanted it thin I don't want it super thin but I wanted it thin I have also tinted it with a little bit of cerulean blue and some phthalo blue because I wanted just a really super light blue all right so let's get that going on these edges I don't want to have a whole lot of base coat left on here um, we're going to be doing some strainer flowers I wanted it to be kind of abstract flowers and I it's really hard when you get two or three or more uh, strainer flowers or bottle bottom flowers on a canvas to tilt them. So I'm just going to see what gravity will do. I think if you, you know, have this coated good with a base coat and you put the flowers down, um, I think you're going to, gravity is going to do the job for you. I've been playing around with that a little bit with that with my blooms. I'm going to be experimenting more with the blooms and that technique. I think it's going to work better on a smaller surface than a larger one, but we'll see. I also am going to try thinning out the bloom material and just see. Should I say Shelly Art Bloom, so I give her the credit. Um, and Jen Neal, I learned from both of them. Just gonna pop some of the bubbles. Gallery wrap canvas, make sure you get bubbles. You do the sides too, because they're so thick. And the run, the runoff is really pretty, so you don't want to get uh, 
freckles or anything else going on there. All right. So I have a uh, cap to a hairspray container that I had, and I have drilled holes in it all the way around, really close to the bottom. Uh, the bottom is still nothing here. And uh, this gives a really cool flower effect, as you will see. So I'm going to do the bigger ones first, though, and then I'll place the little ones where I want them. So this is a sink strainer that I get at Walmart and has it's a little different than regular strainers because you can see here in the sides, it has holes instead of slits. So you get more of a flower petal shape really like these. Find them at Walmart. They were over by the, they were not in the kitchen stuff. They were over by uh, where you buy sponges. They had them there. So that is, you know, in Arizona, that's where I found them. All right. So I want to get two flowers going. So I think I'm going to place them here and here, and then I can do the little one. Um, as I go, I'm gonna do them one at a time though, cause I don't want too much going on. So I have a whole bunch of colors laid out here. Um, I think I wanna start with some white. I'm gonna do them different, um, different colors. So let's, that was just my Artist Loft White Flow. This is Artist Loft Aqua. Just putting the paint in the middle. That first one I went all the way around just to get a good base coat going. And now I'm just gonna put them in the middle. Um, let me see. Let's go with a little bit of purple. I believe this is Morning Pansy, Christina Welch art. And you will start seeing soon, they're gonna start coming out those holes there. This is uh, Artist Loft Deep Magenta. And let's put a little bit more white. You know what I didn't grab was any yellow. Let me grab a yellow really quick because I do want a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna grab my cad yellow and my uh, Naples yellow. Okay, you can start, it's starting to come out. I'm gonna put a little bit of the Naples yellow in there. Oh no! <laughs> that was because I shook it. All right, let's just get that off of there. I don't want that on there. That's why I always save a little bit of extra base coat. All right. I wanted that yellow in the center, so that's why I did that. I'm gonna let that one settle and come out a little bit more while I'm doing the second one. All right, the second one, let's go with the white first again. Let's go with some of the Morning Pansy, some of the PBO Green Blue Iridescent, let's do some Medium Magenta, some uh, Liquitex Rose Pink, and I believe I put some uh, Iridescent Medium in with that. Let's 
hit it with a little bit of the cad yellow. Cad yellow medium. Just a little bit in the middle. Try not to drop it on the canvas. Okay, this one is getting a little wonky, but that's all right. Let that one seep out. Let's go ahead and lift this one up. I want to zoom down a little bit so you guys can see when I lift this one up. Um, I'm going to lift it up, put my hand underneath it, just so you don't get uh, too much paint. And you can see how it the bubbles it bubbles up. You can hit that with a torch. There you go. Isn't that cool? All right, one flower down. Very pretty flower. Can you guys see that? Yeah, really pretty. Okay, let's see what the pink one wants to do. Again, I'll zoom you in here so you can see it when it comes off. And you can see on, the, on that other one and this one too why I finished with the yellow. You can do a light green too. It just gives the center of a flower um, you know, that color. Oh, wow. That one's really pretty. Woohoo! I love these. Now, I'm just hoping that um, gravity will do its job. I am not going to tilt these. I'm just going to leave them. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how they dry. It's another reason I put um, the varnish in them, so... Hopefully we won't get any cracking. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. Okay. I almost want to do another one of those, but I kind of spaced them out too far, so I don't know where I could get another one in. All right, let's go with the little one. Let's go here first, or here, no, here. I think I'll go here and here. Oh, I gotta think about this, because I gotta think about it before I do it. Here, here, and here. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start over here first. Let me lift back up. Okay, let's go with, again, let's do some white. Let's do some of that aqua again. You can see these come out a lot faster. Um... Let's do a little bit of the turquoise. Oh, this turquoise is giving me trouble. Okay, never mind. Um, when I lift it up, there's going to be a hole there. So um, I'm not sure. what uh, what we're gonna do with the center. I gotta lift it up and see what it looks like. Okay, I don't want it to be a big flower, so I'm gonna lift now. All right. Put that right back down over here. Get rid of that. Maybe. <laughs> All right. So it did, uh, I lifted up and I got a, a streak in there, but I'm not too concerned about that. 
I think it'll work itself out. I'm just going to swirl a little bit in the center here. And I'm going to pull that back in. There we go. Give it one more in. Give it one more swirl. Okay. Let's do some, uh, I think I'm going to do the cad yellow. I really like that cad yellow in that pink one. And I think it'll mix with the blue nicely. Get a little bit of white. Okay, and up was better about it that time. Let's just give a little swirl in the center. I'm really wishing this petal was not like this. It's really irritating me. Okay, um, what to do, what to do, what to do. I definitely want to get one over here, but I'm thinking we need something here too. So I'm just uh, cleaning off that, the, the cap, the hairspray cap. Just so it's not, uh, I wanted to get some of that blue off of there. Okay, let's do one up here. Let's do something pink. Um, start off with the aqua and then I'll add some pink to it. And we still have that white, that's a little bit of white in there. Okay. Sorry guys, <laughs> I zoned out there for a minute. <laughs> okay, let's get some pink in here. That drip out. Okay, let me get that one off of there. Don't want it to go too far. Let's give it a swirl. Very pretty. Hope you guys are still in there and see all of this going on. This flower here looks really yellow, but I'll give you a close up when I'm done. You can see it's actually, uh, it's got a lot of that dark blue in there. The Prussian blue is what I used. I think I quit telling you guys what colors I was putting in too. Um, I think I'm going to use one of the strainers. Let me rinse it out real quick though, because I like to start with them clean. And I think I'm going to do like a half of one here of the big ones. So let me clean that out. I have a soapy bucket of water over here. This will give me an idea to um, kind of an experiment to figure out what color combinations I like together. You can't tell I'm a flower person, can you? <laughs> uh, and 
don't know if I told you this story, but my mom, who watches my videos, she's one of my biggest fans. Hi, mom. Um, my mom used to tell me all the time when I was a watercolorist, paint flowers. They're so pretty. You do such a good job. And I just didn't like painting flowers in watercolor. They were so difficult. Um, so, uh, you know, I used to like feel like I should be painting flowers, but I like the abstract better. So when I started pouring, um, I did, oh, I'm really creating a shadow there. There, that's probably better. Um, when I started pouring, I just fell in love with how you could do flowers and make flowers in pouring. So that's kind of become one of my things. And it's just kind of funny. It's kind of a joke between her and I. Because she loves the flowers and now so do I. All right, guys, I need a color combination here. I think something I haven't used. I've got that strainer is kind of half on the canvas and half off, maybe three quarters on and a quarter off. Um, let's go with some more of that purple. Really like that. And how about some medium magenta? Gotta make sure it's coming out there too. Um, let's go with a little bit of the light pink, the rose. Some of that Naples yellow for the middle. Okay. Just letting it pull out a little bit more out of the strainer. Some of these I think are going to pull off the edges and that's completely fine with me. That's actually what I want. So I'm hoping that gravity does its job. I may have to stick my hand up underneath there and, you know, push underneath just to get them to push out. Okay, let's take this one off. If you pop those bubbles right away, then you get that, that center like that. Okay, love that. Love that on the edge. Then I was thinking I would um, pull some vines through it. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that wet or wait until it dries. And I think I might want one more over here on the corner. Um... Do I or don't I? That is the question. Let's do one more of the, the hairspray, one of the little ones. Although I'm really digging those, those bigger ones with the strainers. I just love how the centers come out. And I know it's hard for you guys to tell, but this the background on here is like a light blue. It's probably a little hard to see. I wish this was one of those moments I wish you guys could talk to me. Do I do one more over here in the corner or do I not? I cleaned that out because this one got a little muddy over here. It's not too bad, but yeah, let's put it like I'm just going to put it kind of on the edge. And let's see what it does. Very important when you're doing this kind of work to spray the underneath of your canvas because uh, that really makes it hard, like a hard surface. You can also put something up in there, like a piece of cardboard, 
Um, those canvases that I bought would be really good for this, but I wanted to do a big one. Um, the pouring canvases that have the piece of cardboard up in there. Okay, let's do a yellow one. Let's start off with white, but let's give it some... I start off with the white because that gives it like a base in the cup. And then when you put the second color in, it really starts to go. You can see. All right. Let's give that a little bit of um, light pink. Aqua? Turquoise? <laughs> Let's go with the aqua. Now oh, I've got aqua up there. Let's go with the... PBO. PBO green blue. We might get green, but that's okay. So you can use any plastic uh, lid to anything like this. And just, uh, I use just a Dremel tool, but you could use anything to drill your holes in there. And they don't have to be perfect. You know, you can put them closer together, you can put them further apart. Completely up to you. All right, let's give that a little bit. I'm gonna pull in some of this blue over here. That didn't, that didn't work too good. How about this one? There we go, that's better. All right. Pop some bubbles in all of these. Uh, no silicone in my paints. Wow, that is really psychedelic. <laughs> but I love it. Now I just have to decide what I'm going to do. I, I'm going to try and show you guys this. I will definitely show you next week when they're dry. But how it dripped off. The canvas is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This one too. Love it. So I might work on some of that next time. I'm really curious to see how this is going to dry uh, because I have, uh, you know, there's a lot of paint here. So I'm hoping that if I just leave it, it'll spread itself out a little bit more. Pretty, I've got a pretty even level area. So, um, I'm thinking, I'm trying to decide if I want to put the uh, the stems and leaves in right now. Or if I want to just leave them alone and do it after it dries. I think I'm going to do it because I'll have more control over it. I don't want to um, get in there and mess up any of these pretty flowers so um, let's just leave it for now let me try to give you guys a close-up okay sorry that turned off i don't know why so here's close-up you can see the sides hopefully i'm getting all this in there's my little aqua one i love this one I love the color combination on that one. That one, there's the drip down the side. I might try some of these with the, some of this has sparkle in it, but I think I'd like to try it with the, um, the iridescent. Let's see, I'm hoping I'm getting all these in for you guys. There's that one. See the center of it. Here's the one on the edge. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to leave it like that. Sorry, went off again. I'm going to have three videos to splice together. I'm going to do real quick. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're almost to 700, so tell all your friends. Come watch this video, and hopefully we'll get up to 700 and I can do a giveaway. I'll talk to you guys next week. Have a great week. Stay safe.
and stay at home, please, for now. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks. Bye.